It is so good to be with you all this morning and having the opportunity to worship in our resurrection garden. It's a chance to worship in God's creation, and it's also a chance to worship with our Emmanuel saints who are buried here. And many of us know someone and love someone who's there, and I think this is a great visual reminder for us that they are worshiping with us today, and in fact they worship with us all the time through the communion of saints. Today we are worshiping with our saints, and we are also celebrating the greatest of all Christian saints, the Blessed Virgin Mary, a.k.a. the BBM. (laughs) I love saying that. (laughs) OMG. I love that we're getting this chance to celebrate her in the summer, because otherwise we only get to talk about her around Christmas. But her witness is so powerful that she is definitely worth bringing up more than one time a year. In the Gospel reading for her feast day, we have the passage in Luke where Mary offers a song of praise. And this is where she talks about how God has blessed her so much and looked at her, his lowly servant, with favor. This theme of blessing shows up again in the psalm and in the Old Testament reading. So it seems like it's a theme we're supposed to focus in on for today. I think we can ask, what does it mean to be blessed? What do we mean when we say that something is a blessing? And what did Mary mean by it? Oftentimes I think, We talk about blessings when something good happens. Maybe something comes through that we weren't expecting and it surprises us. Or maybe something just catches our attention and we realize how fortunate we are. And then there are those times when people call something a blessing and you have to think twice about it. Like when it's all about their possessions or their successes. My brother once commented on Facebook how people use hashtag blessed when they want to brag about something while still seeming humble. (laughs) In such cases, we might wonder whether these things are blessings or simply if it's the blessing of luck and privilege. Now I want to be clear that it's not rep. It's not wrong to look at life and give thanks to God. And it's not wrong to use hashtag blessed. It's totally okay to do that. But if we only think that God blesses us when good things are happening, what about when life is hard and we don't have a lot of good things that we can point to? Does it mean that we're not blessed? I'm sure you already know that the answer to this question is, of course not. Things happen in life that can't be explained. We live in a good but imperfect world that is subject to good and evil. Bad things happen, but it doesn't change our status as blessed. Because good fortune and social privilege, blessing is not about good fortune or social privilege. And it's not about our life circumstances either. We don't look at what's going on around us and then decide whether or not we're blessed. Being blessed is about knowing that God is with us in all times and in all places. And because our blessing is rooted in God and it comes from God, it never changes. I think it's hard to find a more beautiful example of someone who understood this than Mary. In her song of praise, she says, My soul is filled with joy when I look to God. Not when I look around at how good my life is. And that's a really good thing because she had some serious challenges. She was an unwed mother-to-be 
in a society where that was not acceptable. And she was part of an ethnic and social class that was systematically oppressed. Reading on in the canticle, Mary talks about how God lifts up the lowly and how God is not impressed by people's pride in themselves. She knew that God didn't care about material wealth or success, but was operating in an entirely different economy altogether. In this spiritual economy, she knew just how much she had. She knew she was blessed by God and that God was with her. And then she lived out of a sense of that awareness. Mary knew that God was with her when she traveled from Nazareth to Jerusalem in the barn where she gave birth, in parenting. Can you imagine raising a child like Jesus? I'm sure there are times when she just thought, what is going on with this kid? She knew God was with her when Jesus became a controversial public figure and when she had to watch him tortured and killed. It all kind of deglamorizes what it meant for her to be blessed among all women. But through it, she must have hung on to a sense of that blessing. No one would have blamed her if she blamed God after the crucifixion. But later in Acts, we see that she is out there building God's church, which is the living continuation of her son's ministry. And that is so powerful. We revere Mary, and we view her as a special woman, and rightly so. At the same time, we need to remember that God looks at us with favor, too. God is with each of us, and God blesses us with the resources we need for our journey. Things like inner strength, love, generosity, and hope. These are all unlimited resources that are available to each person, and they are so underutilized. God is the one who blesses us, but our role in it is staying connected to an awareness of our blessing. We can do this in talking to God, in taking time to just be still, in worship, like we're doing right now. Sunday morning is an excellent opportunity where we set aside an hour to reconnect our spirits to God's and then let that fill us up. We can also do it through recreation getting outside, or doing activities that remind us how blessed we are. And stepping into this awareness is something that we can do as a community, too. The name of our church is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Names have a great significance. Sometimes we have to live up to a name or live into it. And as Emmanuel Parish, we are called to be a witness that God is with us. And we do this by being aware of it ourselves. I think that this very thing is what helped us this last week. When our parishioners learned that the Jubilee Center would have to close, so many people came forward and said, we have to do something. Everyone was supportive. No one said anything otherwise. And it felt like in that moment, we were of one heart and mind and spirit as a church in what we were called to do. Now I know people are wondering what's next for the Jubilee Center since there are unresolved funding issues. We know how important it is to its members and what a difference it's making for them in their day-to-day -day lives. And 
I got to be there when people learned on Monday that the center would stay open and to see the smiles on people's faces and hear their stories about what kind of actual changes they had from having that safe, loving community that they could always go to. They recognize what a blessing it is to have that place. And our job will be to make sure that the doors stay open for those who need it. I want you all to know in this that the Emanuel Vestry is working very closely with the Shelter Care Board. We're going to have a summit with the board and the vestry to talk about how we make this happen. And as we work through these next steps, please know that we are doing everything we can and that you can help this effort by being patient with us as we try to figure it all out and being prayerful that God will guide us. We don't know the how just yet, but what's important is we know we're going to do the right thing and we're going to need your help. We'll need your ideas, we'll need money, we'll need your contacts. If you're interested in fund development, step forward. If you're interested in advocacy, step forward. If you're interested in volunteering, step forward. And if you're a Jubilee Center member who is interested in being a leader in this change, step forward. God is doing something here and it's going to be most fully realized when everyone is involved. We, like Mary, have been blessed to be a vessel of something that blesses others. This church birthed the Jubilee Center. It's our mission, it's who we are, and we're going to continue in this holy work. And through it all that we know that God is with us. And through blessing them, we ourselves are blessed. Amen.